Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. And we are still here in Russia. And I thought I would take a different spawn point this time. Let me go ahead and get back to the map. I'm actually over here closer to spawn point 7. Now, I kind of looked around this area. It's kind of like a little lagoon type thing. I don't know what you would call it exactly. Look at the map, it's as you can see it's kind of circular. These little tributaries lead right up to it, but it it, it does dead end right here with a cliff facing. Now I'm right over here by the cliff, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right there. And there's this little dock. To get here I had to cross over those logs, but you start over there when you spawn in. And I haven't been over here. I've kind of been just about everywhere else either directly or indirectly. I've been over 1 and 2. That's what I did in some of the other episodes. 3, that was the opposite bank of the uh, area where the Wells catfish and the huge beluga sturgeon were caught. And 6 was where the big beluga sturgeon was caught. 8 again is kind of similar because it's still in the open area. I kind of wanted to stick in an area where there wasn't so many of the big, big fish like the beluga or the Wells. I wanted to kind of focus on some of the other species that are here, like maybe the eel or the Amur pike, which we have not caught yet. Uh, we've caught some of the salmon already, but most of them are going to be found probably along four uh, with the carp species. Now one of the things that I have the capability of doing is I do have something called, I believe it's hunter vision. Not sure if that's exactly what they call it, but it is something like that from the original Ultimate Fishing Simulator series. But to turn it on, it used to be H, now it's V. But I'm going to see just what fish might actually be in the water here. But you got to kind of hold it down. I'm not seeing very much, honestly. I see a carp species. That's about it. Well, that doesn't tell me much, now does it? Well, the next thing I can possibly do is do a little recognizance. If I said the recognizance? Yeah. Reconnoiter, as some people used to say in the military. But this is a good lure to use for that because it goes for a lot variety of the pike species. Let me go ahead and show you here. It also is attracted for chum salmon black grayling, coho salmon, and pink salmon. I used it in the last episode. I got grayling with it. I might still get grayling with it. I'm not sure where they are. are God, I'm having a hard time talking. I'm not sure where they are all located, but they may be here as well. So let's throw it over there. There's a... I'm trying to see what kind of cover we can try. God bless it. We're doing some lag issues here again, too. There seems to be some cover over there. We might try some different positions too. But let me throw it over there. This has some good casting distance. <coughs> kind of surprised it actually went in the water. But doing this, you can kind of get an idea because you can rotate the camera, you can kind of look around, see what is actually actually in this water. I think that's what I saw with the hunter vision. It's a carp, probably a grass carp. I've seen a lot of grass carp. Now what? There we go. I think that's a pink salmon. I'm not sure. 
Okay, that's good. That's good to know. He seems to be fairly good size, too. Yeah, I've... He seems a little big for just a pink salmon. He's awful dark, too. But he doesn't look like a chum salmon, either. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what he is, but he's... He's fairly decent size. Might need to increase my drag a little bit. I don't know. Of course, this is not a heavy-duty rod, but I shouldn't need it for here. Let's see what this guy is. Wow. It is a pink salmon. Oh, okay. I can see the pink on him now. <laughs> That's a nice one. New personal record, 14.38 pounds. He's a five-star one. Hundred dollars, hundred point six five. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me get. Let me get a picture of him. Okay, let's see. Now that we got him, we are going to keep him. In that little guy is going to go to my trophy room unless I catch a bigger one than that. Okay, I did not expect to see salmon over here, honestly. I was expecting pike, maybe. Obviously the carp. God bless. Wow, that way overthrew it, didn't it? <laughs> Let me just... Okay. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, you have to really throw it light. That thing casts really hard and fast. Okay, we got something else that seems like it might be interested. That is a pike. There we go. That's what I was hoping to get. He's going to give me a good fight, too. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to need to change our drag a little bit. This guy is not going to come easily. Yeah, I was hoping to get a pike, but this guy is going to get off of this darn thing if I don't get him in here. Okay, there we go. A little more power. He's still not really doing... Okay, he's now he's starting to give me a little, little bit of worry. Let's get him in while he's unawares. This is a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes. Wow. Holy crikeys. That's a nice northern pike. 43.91 pounds. Four stars. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can do much better than that. <laughs> Honestly, that is a nice fish. Crikeys. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of him, too. Whew. We are definitely keeping him. I think I must have completed a quest here. Let's see what's on the quest board this time. Yep, catch fish of any species weighs at least a total of 55.12 pounds. That uh, says 44.09 of a single species of any of a fish, European eel. I don't know if they. I guess that just means one fish. 
I didn't think he well either that or it means that enough eel to make that many pounds and for 6.61 pounds of a single species of fish asp and we do have some uh, weekly quests that we got going on too I'll have to check that but I think it's for something a lot heavier which we're trying to actually avoid this time trying like I said to get something a little bit different well shoot I didn't that didn't work but there is a big fish out there Let's see what it is hopefully it's not a beluga yeah the beluga in here are going to be a little bit small I would rather get more fish like I just did but this lure is really really popular with the salmon it's really popular with the obviously the pike and there are other lures that we can attempt there's another pike there we go gee whiz okay there's a beluga that's probably what I saw okay this guy is a big one this is a big one oh boy oh boy okay we're gonna may need to take the drag down just a little we can fight him we can have fun with this you are one big fella you might actually be bigger than that last one come on big guy come on big guy Sounds like my dogs are going to act up again. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, he has decided... Oh, he's not caught, right? <laughs> yeah, I could use a big, heavy rod for this guy, but I want to try to get him with this. love the challenge I've pulled in some big fish with this rod so despite its size yeah I'm gonna let him think that he's gotten off of there and I really in real fast ah, damn lag yeah we got him 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 yes now he's only a three star still very very large so this must be Pike Central right here that's all I can say must be Pike Central that's a nice looking fish Again, not the biggest though. I just caught the biggest so far. Getting lots of XP here. Yeah, let me take a look here at this rod. This is my second rod. Yeah, it's only 17.64 pound reel. 15 pound test line. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the next one I have here goes up to 39.90, so we could go a lot bigger here. But we would probably... Wait a minute, does this have... Yeah, it has a steel leader on it. I don't think we can get much bigger than 17.64, so that's pretty much... Oh, wait a minute, we have an unclaimed reward here. Hmm. Looks like we're still in progress on that one. There it is, for $65. So we got the money for that. Don't have any skills to sp don't have any skills to spend just yet, but we've been filling that up pretty good. Almost to level 23 now. 
So I'm trying to decide if I should try a different lure, maybe. Let's see, so we've got... This goes for ch chum salmon. It'll probably be smaller, though. Northern pike, pink salmon. I didn't see any eel, but I'm kind of thinking they might be out here. I'm trying to... Okay, this would attract an eel. And there is a quest for an eel. Let's see what this one goes. Okay, this is... Crankback Loxy, 18 grams. Goes with the Amur Pike and Northern Pike. I have yet to see an Amur Pike. Northern's all I've seen. That's Wells Catfish. See, in every instance, if it attracts an Amur Pike... Okay, now this one... No, it's still Amur Pike and Northern Pike. Huh. And now it doesn't say anything about asp. That's kind of strange. Well, I tell you what, let's let's try this for a minute. Let me go ahead and put this away while I walk. I'm going to go to the other side and see what I can see with that hunter vision again. I see over here, that's where we get into the stream. There seems to be quite a bit of cover there, too. Let's see what's over here, guys. I don't see anything. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, well. Guess we'll try it this way. See how far we... And eh, we're going to end up on land, aren't we? Yep. No? We are in the water. So I'm hoping to get an eel this time. Now what is that? Is that... I think that might be some kind of a carp. I think our speed's a little too high. Let's take it down to about 14. And... Yeah, there's definitely carp over here. Yeah, see, now we're getting more of a green... fish over on the right, which means it's more attractive now. There we go. Some kind of salmon. I'm not sure exactly what. It might be a chum salmon. And he's pretty good size, too. Okay, let's see here. Where is he? Oh, he's... Whoa, really? He went under, he went under me. <laughs> so he must have went under this log. That's wild. Okay, we're need, going to need to step up the drag on there. And again, I'm sorry about my dogs here. Our puppy has just been <coughs> aggravating the others today. I don't know what the deal is. Yep, that is... No, it's a coho. It's a coho salmon. thought it was a chum salmon. So we haven't caught a chum salmon yet. It is a new personal record, another five star fish. 278.12. Well, that is two fish that I can put in my trophy room. That's not bad. 
Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and get a picture of him too, because I'm not sure which one I'm going to put up on the thumbnail. <laughs> After getting two nice ones. It was kind of interesting that he went under me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna throw over here. I really, like I said, I would love to get an eel. Why does it keep going over there? I wanted it to go more to the right, but oh shoot! Well, I was getting ready to say I needed to take the speed down, but it didn't seem to matter because <laughs> he was interested. Oh boy, he is also very strong. We need to take that down considerably. Yeah, this guy's going to be... I was not expecting to get a fish that big, honestly. Not at all. This type of lure, I thought I was going to get a little bitty thing. Gonna give one last hurrah here. There we go. See how big that fella is. Another four star Northern Pike. He wasn't as big as the last one, or the very first one I got, but. He's still up there. Jeez. Nice place to fish, guys. This is a nice place to fish. And I finally reached level 23. See, I got 230 cash, times 1 XP, and times 1 dollar. Ah, there we go. We had to get one of these fellas. <laughs> Just had to get one of these guys. These black railings. There we go. I love these guys. Ooh, he's a personal record too. Four stars. Twenty-eight fifty for that little fish. Twenty-two point two Yeah, I wanted to throw one over this way towards the rocks just to see. Actually, there's other stuff over there. I kind of like to see what's over there. And I really want to see if I can get either an eel or a mirror pike. Now, this is supposed to attract both. Now, it looks like that's a big head carp. Let me get a different perspective here. Oh, another grayling, I think. No? No, no, that's a pink salmon again. Yep, it's another pink salmon. Boy, they're dark. In Fishing Planet, they're a lot lighter. He's only a two star. Still good money. Yeah, see those stick ups over there? That's kind of where I'm trying to throw. Let me try over on this side. Yeah, it seems like I'm really casting far to the left for some reason. Like I said, still no Amur Pike and still no. Okay, we got a pink salmon there. Very nice male. Nice beak on him. Good size. Ooh, real good size. He might be bigger than the first one I caught. I don't know. 
definitely good size. Again, this is a heavier rod, so that speaks volumes. No, he's only a four star, but look at that hump on him. That is a good example of a pink salmon. Nice large beak, big hump. Eighty-five dollars. Hmm. Let's try throwing it over there in that. Let's try throwing over there in that corner there. Yeah, I think this is gonna have to be our last one. But this went really well. I really oh, another grayling. <laughs> These little buggers, I swear to God, I love them. I love them. They are just so fun to catch. It's like catching panfish. He's a four star. It's not bad. Yeah, that was a little fast. I want to try <laughs> get something a little bigger than that. Yeah, this lure is really good for a variety of things. Now there we go. There's another pink. Oh, he got he let go. I'll be darned. That happens every now and then. Does not mean it's the end. There's another one. Could even be the same one for all we know. In fact, he was close. Another four star. He's a lighter color. Again, another good example with the hump and the beak. Uh, it's hard not to do it one more time. I always do that. It's like, let me try one more time, but before we do. I want to use this one. The only reason I want to use this is because this will single out the pike. I just want to find a Namur. Really bad. If anybody knows exactly which area where they're found, because I know they're here. Now there is a chum salmon right there. That's a chum salmon. Yeah, let me go ahead and bring this back here, guys. I want to... I really want to get him. I want to get him bad. Let's see here. Okay, that one does grab the chum salmon. So let's see if... If he's there... That would be a new one. I've only gotten the pink and the coho. Ugh, and the grayling. Ugh. <laughs> There's an eel, too. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. He's a little bit small. Let's see, does that... It does not go for eel. So, let's go back to this. So, we've seen a chum salmon and an eel. Had we not gotten the grayling, we could have attracted one of them. And I see that eel again. There he is. Big one, too. I 
Okay, let's take our time. Come on, let's get the eel, man. Really like to get that eel. Ugh, another pink salmon. <laughs> There's the eel. Talk about it. We've caught the dickens out of the pink salmon, though, that's for sure. I'm not going to throw it as hard this time. I think he's more towards the center. I'm going to keep at it until I get that sucker, I swear to God. <laughs> well, whatever that is, is losing its mind. Ah, there he is. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is the fella. This is him. It's what I wanted. All right. Let's see how big this fella is. Nice. That's a nice eel. 73.88. Knew I'd eventually get one, but jeez, that was tough. And he is only a two star. There may be more than one out there. Let's just throw it a little short ways out there. Try one more time. I know, I know, one more time. I always say that. But there is another eel right there. See him? He looks big, too. Come on, fella. Come on. That's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see how big you are. Let's see how big you are. Oh, there we go, guys. <laughs> New personal record. Check this fella out. Now that is an eel, guys. That's an eel. Very nice. How big is he? 10.66 pounds. That's a nice eel. Without a doubt, we are getting a picture of that fella. Well, we found them. I'll we'll keep him. I'm just going to throw one more time. I know, I know. One more time. One more time. And whatever we get, that's it. That is... There's another eel. Yes, 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 yes. Boy, this seems to be eel central. Very nice. And this is a big eel. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're going to have to take the drag down a, quite a bit. Okay. This might be our big, biggest eel yet. Oh my goodness, how big is this eel? Yes, it's a five star. It is a five star. 13.72 pounds. One more time worked. That is a trophy, my friends. Holy crap, that is a big fish. Five star eel. Holy crikeys. Well, I have really had a great session here, guys. I mean, I can't ask for better than that. Really, I can't. There's just no way. My inventory must be super full. I can't believe I didn't complete another quest, but I must be close on this one. Yep. Yeah.
European eel, and that's 65 percent of getting that quest. So I'm probably going to continue fishing, see how many more I can catch. Maybe I can find the asp as well. I don't know. I think there's some asp further downstream. Well, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump out of here real quick because I want to go check out what I have. Actually, I'm going to have to go to my net first. We're going to open the fishing net. So we got a trophy level pink salmon. And a trophy level European eel and a trophy level coho salmon. So we are going to make these in our trophies. The coho. And last but not least, the European eel. Now, I might still hold off on the pink salmon just yet. But we did get a really big northern pike at 240, let's see, 44 pounds. I'm going to keep him as a trophy for now. You can always upgrade. And I'm going to go ahead and sell the rest at a, over $1,000. And we're going to go ahead and exit this location and check out our trophies. We'll go to the residence. Yeah, my, there we go. <laughs> There's the coho. Whew, he takes up most of that pillar. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, you get a much better look at him here. So he is a trophy. We're getting a little bit of lag again. Uh, that's my best black grayling. There's the pink salmon. Now this guy is a five star too, so nice. Yeah, the only one it was four was the northern pike. Which is right there. Right below the Xander. Yeah, the only thing is, is on the bottom ones, it's real hard to read. Almost impossible to read them, so I can't see what the weight is, unfortunately. That got it. I wish I could do something with the lighting, and maybe I could do something with the settings so you can see it better. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, I can't get the light up a little bit more. It's kind of dim in here, and that's the only problem. I think that's why I can't read that. But the bottom fish, you can't see their weight. That's too bad. Let's see. Yeah, there's that Wells catfish. That's a big fella. Let's see here. Oh, there's our eel. Wow. 13.72. He's sticking out like a daggone spear. <laughs> That's incredible. There's the coho. I think... Was that all of them? I think that was. I think that was the last one. I don't have any over in this room. Yeah, we just had the pink... The Northern Pike, that's right. Okay. Yep, that's it, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.